Hola, I am Bastian Hernandez. I am an animator living in Mexico City. I am designing my own tabletop RPG game system and uh, I have been writing some ideas in Trello. Today I'm going to add some images from Pinterest and change it into a very basic mood board. So here we are in Trello and as you can see I have been writing on the, this file and I have been adding a lot of information right here so first thing I'm going to do is change this into a dark mode theme because white is way too light for me so I'm gonna just press shift plus alt plus D in order to activate a dark reader and now it looks much better and professional. Okay, so I have been spending some days writing uh, all of my ideas right here, or at least the, the most important ones. And as you can see, I have been using columns to add the like the main categories of the idea. And then I use cards like this to add um, like a simple bullet or something that is specific to this theme or to this category. Now, sometimes I can find that some things are, for example, maybe maybe they belong to the same idea, so I can just change them like this and then just rearrange it. But right now what I have been doing is very simple. I have just been downloading some images. This is not my art. It's some images from different artists around the internet. And uh, I use this to get a feeling of what I'm talking about. So if I have a theme or I have an idea that can be illustrated, illustrated. I then go around and look for some pictures that somehow tells the story. Now, to add some images into cards is really simple. For example, if I want to talk about this theme, the others, I can just start writing something, and um, add a card. And for example, if I want to add an image, I just drag an image in front of it. And one of the things I like to do is change it into a cover because if I just leave it like this, it's going to do this. Okay, so you are going to see your image right here and then you are going to have the text here. But one of the things I like to do in order to save some space is to change it into a cover. This is fairly new in Trello. And what you do is just this. Look at this. And then I change it to cover and uh, the text goes inside the image and you can use a white or a dark theme and you just click away and then you have this and uh, I think it's much better and you use uh, way better your space it's not that vertical if you keep doing that you can add some images and for example here when I'm talking about maps because it's the most visual element of my game including the character design uh, I have a lot of visual information right here about what I want to do now the idea about Pinterest and why I like it so much is that it's very simple to use and very simple to navigate. You can just uh, click an idea and if you find something beautiful from some artist, you can just click it and then it will show more information that is relevant to that same image. So you can very easily get a lot of visual information. Now that is also a problem because uh, very fast you can get overwhelmed by a lot of cool images because Look at this, everything is beautiful. Everything can be useful, everything is a good idea. Even if the styles are really different among these maps, every single one is a very cool piece of art. And the thing is that you, you need to avoid <laughs> having too much information to work with. What I try to do often is to first have a very strong idea in my mind before jumping into Pinterest because if I do it right away I'm going to be just I'm, I'm going to get lost very fast very easily among all these great artists that I can find here now as an artist you often feel the need to start drawing right away before doing some research and the problem with that is that you tend to do the same thing over and over again so if you are drawing a tree, you draw the same tree you have been drawing all around the place and uh, it will happen again with characters, with weapons, with places. And it's normal that if you have some preference about some art style, 
you are just going to do it again and again the same and every single time is going to be a little bit better so you are improving your style but you are you are not changing it you are not evolving so what i like to do is have just the concept in my mind regardless of image style or technique or whatever and then try to find something that fits that idea and in that way uh, you are getting inspired from different points of view from different different approaches to the same problem or to the same um, idea you want to develop okay so i think that's it and uh, this was a very fast video just talking about the stage i am working right now and uh, later i'm going to be discussing every single one of my core ideas and uh, it's going to be a little bit harder so thank you very much for watching bye